All right, so then you're going in to build a new virtual machine. And you built it out, and then you're trying to start it up, and you run into this error saying VMware Workstation and Hyper-V are not compatible. Basically, if you have a Windows system that has Hyper-V already installed, and then you install like VMware on top of it because you're trying to use VMware over Hyper-V, um, you will run into this error. So there's a few commands that you might want to work on. So you want to disable Windows feature online, which is right here, and then no restart, because we're going to restart after this. And then if this doesn't work for you, I like to also use the disable command, where you also using it to disable the feature. It's just another way of making sure that it actually remove, remove Hyper-V, because sometimes Hyper-V will play games with you. And this will say it installs or uninstall, and it doesn't uninstall. And then you can use the BC Edit tool in case you're using Hyper-V. Um, on a hypervisor for the blade, it's good to also turn it off. So you want to run all these commands. Um, they're very simple commands. I'll put them also in the description. So run these commands right here. So we'll do this one first. And see right there. So take that off. And now let's take run this one again. And see operation completed 100 successfully. And then let's do the BC edit and take this one off. Um, okay, so with that being said, I want to save this. Um, so disable. Disable Hyper-V, I'll just save it. So in case it doesn't work, I'll come back to this later. And then now I just want to do a restart computer. Um, because in order for this to work, we're going to have to restart. So I'm going to restart, and I will see you guys um, shortly to test this to see if it works. Okay. All right, so we are back. And now we just need to test to see if this works. So earlier, we were having issues with Hyper-V um, working alongside with VMware. So now I just want to test. We just restarted the computer, ran the commands earlier. And now let's just go ahead and see if we can fire back up this box and um, have no issues. And let's see if it works. And there you go. So that is the fix. We didn't get the error. So that means we were able to successfully remove the features for Hyper-V. So like I said, try those commands. Um, they should work like, like I just showed you. And you should be good to go to to work on your box. I hope this video has been helpful. Um, as always, like and subscribe and let me know how you like this or if it helped you out. All right, thanks.